The CES is underway in Las Vegas and Gizmodo is there covering it all. I'm Leon Wallace, a deputy editor at Gizmodo, and I'm joined now by Dave Ewalt. He's the editor-in-chief at Gizmodo. And Dave, CES has been around for a really long time. We're talking over 50 years. And of course, the technology has changed a lot, but the show itself is a bit different this year as well. Yeah, so CES was real different the last couple years because of the pandemic, right? It was canceled the first year of the pandemic, and then it was largely virtual. All the big announcements came over Zoom calls, and people weren't really there in person. But this year, everybody is back in Vegas at this unimaginably huge technology show to see the latest and greatest in consumer electronics. And some of our reporters are there seeing some of the, the latest and greatest and also some of the more unconventional uh, technology coming out or some of the, the more interesting stuff. Uh, what so far have you know some of our reporters been covering? You know, this is always the fun stuff for me is you know the smaller booths and the companies that you hadn't planned on visiting and just seeing like, oh, look at this wacky thing. Um, in the lead up to the big announcement, there's a couple of preview shows and last night Kyle Barr, one of our reporters was checking out this new uh, body friend massage chair. And it's like, it's the, the video is just too funny to watch because it's like this giant enveloping mechanical cocoon that just rubs every single part of your body. It looks like it should be relaxing. Kyle described it as falling into the Sarlacc pit. So I'm guessing <laughs> he did not really enjoy it that much. But there's a lot of things like that that really makes CES delightful. It's discovering, oh, you know, Withings has this new dongle which you drop into your toilet and it tests your urine to find out what your metabolism numbers are, what your pH is, it does period tracking, and that's the sort of thing like going into CES we never thought like, oh, the interesting gadget will be the thing you dunk into your toilet, but those things are really interesting and often can be really useful too. I think the interesting part will be getting it out of your toilet. Yeah, I'll leave that Ho to somebody else. Hopefully the tech can <laughs> take care of that as well. Um, so some of the, you know, more conventional things, what, what else have we seen uh, announced already? Well, NVIDIA released a, a new graphics card. This, this is the budget end of its high-end graphic cards. Um, so now it's completed that new uh, generation of high-end PC gaming graphic cards um, that you can get in either for a ludicrous amount of money or a slightly less ludicrous amount okay, of money. Okay, what's a slightly less ludicrous amount of money? Well, that's when you're talking more about like five, six hundred bucks as opposed to twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, you know, so it's all, it's all ludicrous, but it really depends upon what you plan on spending it for. That's much more traditional sort of like, yeah, graphics cards. There's also going to be lots of announcements about TVs and smartphones and laptops. That's really the bread and butter of a show like this. Another thing we expect to see a lot of is automotive technology. A whole section of CES. Basically imagine an entire hotel and their entire uh, review space and huge sections of the uh, of the expo floor are going to be dedicated to automotive technology. Um, a lot of electric vehicles will be debuted at the show, but also all the technology that goes inside them. Stereos, uh, interactive displays, um, even some of the technology on the outside of the car will change. Expect to see like some new digital paint jobs and different ways that you can customize the way your car looks. I know a lot of stuff uh, to look at and to just kind of learn about um, at CES. If you want to check out more from the show. Of course, we've been covering it all week and we'll continue to do so. You can check out gizmodo.com for the very latest.